Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of Worship Ministry Nuggets. My name is Pastor Ruth Stevens and indeed God has been so faithful. If you're new here to this channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button, press the notification bell so that you are notified every single time I post a new video. And guys, guess what? We just hit 1,000 subscribers. I want to say a big thank you to all of you. We will not have made it this far without your love, without your support, without your, your comments, without your sharing. Thank you so much for the love, for the support. I am so happy that to see the channel has grown to this level. Indeed, my heart is full. I am so, so happy. Thank you so much. Mwah, 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 mwah. Yani, we finally hit 1,000 subscribers. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. For every single person that shared my video, I want to say thank you. Indeed, God has been faithful and I cannot even thank you enough. As in, I'm just in awe. And so today in our episode, I'm going to be talking about the balm of Gilead you know in the previous episode we were talking about the minister who recently departed the late minister Osinachi and today I want to talk about the balm of Gilead because sometimes life happens to a worship leader to a worship minister for example you've lost a loved one you've lost a job you're going through grief you're going through pain so what do you do when you're a worship minister ministering on the altar I want to let you know that there is a balm in Gilead the God that we sing on the altar that he is a healer he's the same God that will heal you I remember when I was um when I was dating my husband, he was ministering to me one day and he told me that the altar is meant for the worship minister in as much as it is meant for the congregation that is coming to receive healing and breakthrough. The same, you know, sometimes we can come to minister and we are thinking, you know, we are just ministering and, you know, we will go home without receiving anything. I want to let you know the altar was also made for you. You can place a demand for your healing, for your breakthrough. And so I'm talking about the balm of Gilead. So what if you've gone through a loss, loss of a loved one? You've gone through grief, you're going through, you've lost a job. So what do you do? I mean, this is the time where you need to stick like super glue. I want to let you know in these trying times, it is not the time to isolate yourself because when you isolate yourself that is when the enemy will come and preach to you a message and you'll find by the way you you're no longer where you are but this is the time to hang on this is the time to cling you know and and stick like super glue this is the hour I want to advise a worship minister out there this is not the time to stop coming to church this is not the time to stop um, you know, coming for praise and worship practice. Let God heal you as you are serving him, you know? Well, in some situations, like for example, in some situations like grief, you may need maybe some time off, you know, uh, you know, before coming back fully to minister. But even in that time off, it does not mean that you stop coming to church. It does not mean that you stop coming for fellowship. You know, the Bible says, do not forsake the gathering of the brethren. I know that there is a God that is a healer because sometimes these situations can come and they can make you Changanyikiwa, if that is the word I can use for today. Because I remember there was one time I was going through a heartbreak as a worship minister. I had even forgotten we had a service. And that particular Friday, Bishop was calling me and asking me where I am. And I'm thinking, where am I supposed to be? I had completely forgotten that we had a service in the evening, you know. It was already six, way past time for praise and worship. I had to rush, you know, get to St. Andrews for the the service but still you know at the end of the day you know you just have to be steady have somebody who can walk with you walk with you in the journey even as you come to that place of total healing and total restoration in Jesus name so thank you guys for watching this wonderful video. I want us to subscribe. Let's get us to 2,000. 
I'm telling you, let's get to 2,000, let's get to 3,000. By the end of the year, I want us to get to 10,000 subscribers, guys. So share this video, like, comment, post a comment. You know, I want to I want to have a session where I'll have a Q&A. So if you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask on the comments. And there will be a special episode where I will be answering those particular questions for the glory and honor of your name. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next Friday for another amazing episode of Worship Ministry Nuggets. Love you and bye-bye.